Hey, good morning. We are here in the Cimarrons today. It's going to be a beautiful day and the Cimarrons is out there. Let me tell you, we are about 10 miles east of Uray, but the road getting here is anything but direct and has a very wild feeling. So great road though. That's the good part. So there's a lot of famous rocks and mountains around here. Courthouse rock. Tristan, what did you climb yesterday? I went up precipice, this peak over here. Yeah, so precipice, red cliff, and our objective for today, which is going to be coxcomb. And that should have a little class five climbing in it and some rope work. It'll be a little more technical, so I'm glad to have a partner for all this. I met Tristan while we were doing YouTube stuff and he made some comments and we ended up getting together because we had so much in common. So we are headed up Coxcomb, and if all goes well, we'll also get Red Cliff, which is another 13,000 plus mountain, just way back behind us there. And we'll actually utilize the motorcycle a little bit. I'd say the last barely even two miles of this road is fairly rough four wheel drive. Short of that though, Tristan brought his Corolla. I didn't see any problem with getting up the road in a, in a sedan like that. So incredible wilderness, mega flowers, an area of the San Juans I've never visited. Come join us. We're gonna go big on Coxcomb Peak. We'll see you up there. All right, here we are at the trailhead for Wetterhorn Pass, and that is where we are gonna go. And that is just way out there in front of Tristan. Pass itself, Coxcomb. We'll actually travel behind that ridge and climb Coxcomb on the far side. upper reaches of the pass here, the Wetterhorn Pass. And this has been a spectacular wilderness experience. The flowers are as good as any that I've seen, and lately I've seen a lot. So great mastiffs, cliffs, mountains all around us. Highly recommend visiting this basin, even if you're not gonna do an early climb. But if you are gonna do an early climb, Coxcomb's gonna be it. Enjoy. here at Wetterhorn Basin Pass, another spectacular saddle. Great towers all around, as you can see. And then behind me is really beautiful as well. So enjoying just the hike so far here to the pass. We'll be getting into the adventures really quickly here. We're gonna just take the pass trail down a little bit and avoid traversing Taos in order to get on to the objective, Coxcomb, where we would like to ascend it. And that's gonna be the south face kind of my climber's right. We'll see you there, and the Adventure Zone will be in full force. It is official. We have entered the adventure zone for sure. We are on a prominent ridge on the south side of Coxcomb. It's fairly obvious if you look at any trip reports. We are gonna just head on up this ramp right behind me at this point. And from there, we've got a couple exciting gullies and chimneys in order to get onto the reeling ramp above. 
And from there, we'll just be cruising a crazy exposed summit ridge out to the north point and the very summit of Coxcomb. We'll see you there. There's our chimney. Right there. Good rock though. We must be on the right track. We're cranking this chimney and we're at an anchor. And I think we have completed the crooks here on Coxcomb. We got a bale anchor, which is really, really a nice place to be as well. So we're loving it now. Looks like either class three or class four up here. Lots of loose pieces, but uh, really psyched. Really fun climbing, generally sound rock, and that's alpine. So take that with a grain of salt. There's still loose blocks, but uh, Pretty good for Alpine. Awesome, we'll see you up there. There's Redcliffe. After that cool chimney climb and this really epic little summit traverse thing here, we are headed for the notch. And I guess it would be a five, six down climb. The first rappel, here we go. Roll. But pretty much everybody just repels off these slings. Here comes Tristan. Just a little class three, really not very hard at all compared to what we've done already. And the scene is outrageous, big time. <laughs> we are working the summit ridge now and it has not disappointed one bit so beautiful exposed really not very scary and quite sound as well so loving it totally Woo, and i am looking at one giant anchor as Carl Decker presents the technical summit of Coxcomb. Super sweet. Off here to my left is Red Cliff. Down below looks like the giant rappel we're gonna take off of those anchors. So awesome. Really fun climb. I'd say a little bit less gnarly than we had anticipated. But that said, Packs plenty of a punch. It's gonna be really an enjoyable climb. Highly recommend it if you're comfortable on some easy fifth class rock in an alpine setting. And the views of Wetterhorn should not be dismissed either. Which is another summit I like to hit relatively soon. It is kind of a long peak, but really a great, beautiful peak. So gotta love that. And then more awesome San Juan basins. If you look really far in the distance, you can even see Red Mountain way out there. That is cool. And then finishing off straight out here is all our favorites, Mount Sneffels. All right, we're hooking off the rope. Here goes, rope. See you down there. 
We are halfway down the rappel now. Maybe a little bit less. That's the look straight up right there. So there's our rope and everything. Again, this is what about halfway looks like. Pretty nuts. And then behind me, I think is Red Cap. <laughs> this way, beautiful swim. So we will just slink on down. Oh, and this is how far we've come already. Really far. The ground is right here. Awesome. Yes. Whoa, loose talus. Fuck. I saw that bird fly over and I thought it was another rock headed for my head. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm really sorry about that, man. We're all good. We are safely down, ropes all cleaned up, and there is the size of our rappel. Enormous, I would say. And this talus coming off the north face of Coxcomb is pretty bad but we're stoked love the climb so much so that it looks like we'll probably head up red cliff next all right down the shit and then up above there's the real adventure holy cow I am super happy to present Red Cliff 13 7 and change, something like that. And wow, the views here are as good as anywhere, that's for sure. And the climb up from the saddle with Coxcomb was really pretty easy. I'd say it took us a half hour. We did leave our packs at the saddle. Let's hope the marmots don't uh, decide to get their salt fixed there. Beautiful views looking out toward the four wheel drive trailhead. Chimney Rock, most distant on the left. Then we are looking at Fortress and Precipice Peak. Panning across, more beautiful 12ers, I would guess. And then center of frame is Uncompadre, another 14er. Now, center of frame is Matterhorn. Panning further. Our objective for the day which was kick ass Coxcomb. And on the right is that Wetterhorn Pass. And we'll work our way back down this Red Cliff Peak where we are now. Oh my god! <laughs> Wow, whole new alluvial fan. Oh. It's time to give you the skinny on this little adventure. Actually, pretty big adventure. Coxcomb, the way up and up this basin valley system, incredible. Tons of flowers, beautiful waterfalls, all reminiscent of the San Juans, highly recommended. Saw one other party the whole time. Then getting all the way around to Coxcomb, we used the trail beyond the pass. That also seemed to work very well, although we did lose four or 500 feet in altitude. Much easier to use a trail than cross slope towels. That brings us to the climbing on the Coxcomb in that south side gully, which actually had pretty sound rock. I was very happy with it. Definitely some class five sections. I'd say the lower section they call class four, class five as well, personally. Um, and the upper, the chimney actually felt slightly easier but still some loose rock, alpine style. Don't think it's bomber. You wanna check every hole, no question. 
And then that is gonna leave you on top of coxcomb, which is also really cool. Short rappel across the one big notch and onto the summit. Great views there. So that all was perfect. And then the rappel, I think it was actually the crooks in the most dangerous part. Cause that is a 180 foot rappel. It's not completely vertical. So your rope is gonna bouncy ding there, get stuck, whatever. On my way down, I definitely freed the rope a couple times as obviously I couldn't get a perfect throw that flew all 200 feet down the face. And it's a huge rappel. And it's also a huge rappel over loose rock. And when we pulled the rope, actually when we just rappelled it, we both knocked down some rocks, which is pretty darn dangerous if there's anyone below. At one point I was, and I was shitting. It was like a meteorite flying down. And, uh, and even pulling your rope is another time you could pull rock down onto yourself and get hit by a cannonball. So that I'd say was the crooks. Still went pretty darn well though. It was super obvious where to repel. There was anchors in place. So, and it left you in a great position to just quickly clamber up Red Cliff. And that was another nice summit and really probably only took us 40 minutes total to run up there and then another, whatever, 20 to get down. So worth the side trip, two 13ers, very cool. And then back into the basin and the main trail where we are now. So huge story and that's it. Hopefully you enjoyed the trip. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already and you like doing some crazy adventures because that's pretty much all we do. And we will see you on the next one. Take care.